you for tuning in to For All Rap Radio Podcast. This show is sponsored by Bird T-shirt signs and embroidery for all your printing needs. We are located at 118 Trinity Road, Saluda. Or we can be reached at 864-445-2616. Or 803-317-7760 and ask for Beverly. Prophet Charlton Doings, how y'all doing? Amen. And we excited. You just tune in on church on Monday, known as He Called Us Ministry. And I want to say to our supporters and our followers, thank you, thank you, thank you thank for even thinking about coming on at 6 p.m. to be with us. And I pray that the blessing of the Lord will add add to you and give you no sorrow. Amen. And we want to bless you and thank you from the bottom of our heart for your support. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to send over to the prophet and let him do the announcement and the prayer. And then we're going to go into the word of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. We thank y'all for coming in and tuning in. We love each and every one of you all. Um, These are the announcements. Govern yourself accordingly. Also, we want you to share, comment, do all that for this page. Amen. Um, There will be a revival held September 5th through the 11th, um, hosted by the Reverend Neil White at Twin City Park in Batesburg, South Carolina. Again, there will be a revival held on September 5th through the 11th, hosted by Reverend Neil White at Twin City Park. Um, The time will be 7 p.m. nightly. Yes. Yeah, time will be 7 p.m. nightly. Um, Also, we want to acknowledge any August birthdays. I mean, even though it's at the end of the month, we still want to celebrate you. Amen. I know one person in particular, um, Mystic, Miss Mystic Hicks. Her birthday will be tomorrow, August 31st. Happy Happy birthday, birthday, Mystic. Mystic. Love you, love you, love you. Love you. Also, we want to acknowledge another birthday, Mr. Dwayne Etheridge. He turned 29. No, his birthday was the 29th. Oh, his birthday was the 29th. How old he turned? He turned 31. He turned 31 on the 29th. Amen. Oh, my we God. We thank God for him. Love you, Dwayne. Happy birthday. Love you, baby. Yes, Lord. Any other birthdays? If you like your birthday announced, whether past or present, please post it on the page. Anniversaries. And anniversaries. Wedding anniversaries. Job anniversary. Retirement anniversary. Just an anniversary. Just put it up there. Amen. Any? Okay. Also, I would like to make another announcement as well. Um, on last week, I had a hair fupa, as the as a as bougie people say, where my hair was sticking up like alfalfa. And all those that watch, I'm a little upset. No one said nothing, but um, it's all good fun, and we still thank God for y'all. But y'all seen that I had an antenna like the Teletubbies. Y'all remember that? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're going to pray. Uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we glorify your name for being the master and creator of all things. And God, we know this the day you've made and we rejoice and be glad in it. And Father, we know, Lord God, in no kind of situation we done walked in or been through, God, is out of your mastery. Mm-hmm. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for holding us with your mm-hmm. mighty hand. Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for keeping us from all manner of danger. God, we know that yes. there's some rough times that has happened. But God, we know you are yet real and you oh, yet alive. God. Hallelujah. And God, Hallelujah. we have a confidence in knowing that our God is real and he's alive hallelujah he has all power in his hand and father we thank you lord god for causing us to be able to hear your voice and god we thank you lord for the word that's going to come forth god should anoint the speaker god anoint us afresh god let no flesh get your glory and god we ask so god you remove everything out the way god we bind up all my 
mechanical failures, God, we ask that you open up the ears and the minds and the hearts of your people, that they may receive, Lord God, let everything be said and done be for the edification of your body. And God, we glorify your name and thank you. And Lord, we say yes, Lord, to your will, yes, Lord, to your way. And Lord, we thank you for deliverance now in the name of Jesus. God, deliver our souls and our minds. Hallelujah from the, from the entrapment of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Satan, you are defeated. You are a defeated foe. And we command your hands be broken. We ah, command the teeth of the ungodly be broken. Hallelujah. We command the back of Satan be broken yes. now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your cold grip. We command the loose hand let us go in the oh, name of Jesus. Jesus. And God, we bind up every spirit of death, suicide, hallelujah, self-sabotage. In the mighty name of oh, Jesus. And we say you will live and not die. Oh, and you will declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You shall live and not die. Oh, hallelujah. I don't yes. care what happened. You shall live and not die. My in the mighty name Jesus. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. And we say it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hey. Amen. My Ooh, God. I feel the power Jesus. of God. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, prophet, for the prayer. Amen. Without us praying, amen, we can't do anything. Prayer will open up heaven to us tonight. So we thank God for the prophet, amen, that said such a mighty, strong, come on, convincing prayer. Come on, when I say convincing, that means even the enemy understand. Hallelujah, what's getting ready to go down in this place tonight. Amen. So we thank God we're not going to prolong. And I want to talk to y'all today about something. I got this word from the Lord this morning. Amen. How many know I don't just come on here and trying to tell something my own intellect, something that I thought about, something I got from somebody else, amen. But I, I sit before the Lord. I said, Lord, give me a word because we're dealing with souls in this time, amen. We're not dealing with just ordinary people. There are souls that are in the balance, come hanging in the balance. There are souls that are not saved. Come on, there are souls, amen, that's wondering and don't know what to do, amen. But on this program, amen, God has given us a way to reroute, to route his people, amen, that they may be saved, sanctified, filled with the precious Holy Ghost. Amen. So we want to do what God asks us to do. So tonight, we're going to talk about a few things. Amen. And I'm just asking you to hit the share button. Come on, get somebody on the line. I don't care who it is. Come on. Even It could be your enemy. Come on, get them on the line because God has something to say tonight. Amen. Yes. And the more you share, come on, the more the word is being put out there. Amen. They're going to bless somebody. Amen. So we're going to go to the book of Romans. Amen. I'm not going to get my topic yet. Amen. I'm going to wait a minute to give it. But amen. Because it goes down to what I'm going to say. Amen. But we're going to go to Romans uh, chapter 12 and verse number 19. The Bible declares, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. I'm going I'm to say it again. Dearly beloved, Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord. Amen. I know that now we're in an hour that people are doing all kinds of stuff to one another. Amen. Every time you turn around, somebody done got killed. Come, somebody done got the fight. Somebody done did this. Somebody done said this. Amen. People just do whatever they want to people. Amen. And they're thinking that nothing's going to happen. Come on, because they've been doing it for a while. Amen. They ain't seen that to come back. But I'm telling you, we're in an hour now. Amen. That thing is getting ready to be sent right back to you. Amen. So we got to know that when we do things, amen, there is a cause. Come on, behind what you did. There is a repayment. Come on. That's something that you got to pay for. So keep in mind when you're getting ready to do things, especially towards your brothers and sisters, that there is a day called payday. Amen. That you got to pay for everything you have done in that body. Amen. I know you, I know you're saying, well, I got a long life to live, but let me tell you something. You don't know what you got. Amen. A time like this, when I was young, Charlton, I used to get say, you know what? I can't wait till Friday to come because I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But now we're in an hour. We don't know if we're going to make it to Tuesday. Come on, somebody. So we can't even plan what we're going to do next. Next week, because there's so much is going on in the world today. Amen. But I came, amen, to help you tonight. Amen. I come to share some light to what's really going down. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, it's going down. Come it's on. Going down. It's going down. Come on. And I first thing God said to me, daughter, He said, I want to, I, I want to identify to you the people or the enemy itself that is bothering you. See, you can't fight anything that you don't know what you're fighting. That's right. 
Let me tell you, so have you ever been in a fight before? But you thought you was in a fight. You know somebody want to fight you, and you don't even know who it is. So now you're looking around to see, wonder who this is want to fight me. Glory to God. And listen, that's a scary thing to know. Amen. Somebody want to fight you, and you don't know who it is. Because that means somebody can walk up to you that you don't even know and been a knock you out. Amen. But now we're in the hour. God said, I'm going to identify. I'm going to identify the enemy to you. I'm going to let you know who he is. Come on. You ain't even got to wonder who going, who trying to fight you. Come on. You ain't got to guess it. Come on. You ain't got to call your sister and ask her. You ain't even ask your brother about it. He said, I am got about to identify the enemy that's fighting you. Thank Glory you. to God. Hallelujah. How many of you know that? Listen, I find out if, if God don't show me who the enemy is, sometimes I friend my enemies. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I, I friend my enemies. People that don't even have an uh, interest or heart for me, I friend them. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that they have a, a, a hidden agenda about me in their heart. So when I think they should be clapping for me, they back there talking about me. Come on, somebody. When I think they ought to be cheerleading for me, come on. They back there saying, I can't wait till she go down. Oh, my God. As I'm talking to somebody in War Rap Radio Land, people that now that we don't know who our enemy is because we are friending these people. But God said, not in this hour. I'm getting ready to identify. Come on. I'm finna listen, it ain't the person. Come on. I, I want to make that clear because a lot of times people say, you know, oh, Jack, she did this. Oh, Jack, he did this to me. Jack. It's not them. It's the spirit behind them. Right. But bless God, it's still them because they're allowing the enemy to use them right. to fight against you. Come mm -hmm. on, somebody. So even though we know a spirit behind it, we still got to hold you accountable because you're allowing the enemy to help you or help him to fight me. Glory to God. So God is getting ready to identify the enemy that's fighting you. Mm -hmm. And then God said, after I identify him, come on. Because listen, I find out that he can tell me who it is. But the first thing, what's the next thing we at? Where they at? Where they at? Glory to God. Which way they Thank coming? Thank you, Jesus. Who? Who, who want to fight me? Where they at? Which way they oh, coming? God, I thank you, Holy Ghost. Listen, listen. That's, that's, a, that's the second thing we ask. Who? Oh, okay. Well, where they at? That's right. God said, this is, I'm getting ready to locate them for you. Come on. Oh, God, I thank you, Holy Ghost. Sometimes when we get ready to fight folks, we got we don't know where they at. But the God that I serve, he said, I'm going to first identify them, then I'm going to locate where they are to you. Come on, I'm going to show you exactly Jesus. where they are. Come on, somebody. Right, right. So when you think they're your friend, I'm going to show you who they really are. Come on. Oh, when they're supposed to be your husband, your wife, oh, I'm going to show you who they really are. Glory to God. Come on. Just because they, they holler, I'm your auntie, I'm your auntie, I'm your uncle. But no, I'm going to get ready to locate you and to show you who they really are. Mm -hmm. I'm going to locate you where they at. Right where they at. Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. I'm going to locate them where they at. Huh? Jesus. Glory oh, to God. Gonna Come on. Go. I'm going to show you where they're really hey. supposed to be at. Come hey. on. Oh, because sometimes we got people in our lives, glory to God, that should be people that just came in for a season. But we keep them all year long. Come on. We keep them five and ten years only to find out that they destroyed our lives. But God said, I'm going to help you locate them now. Jesus. Glory to God. I'm going to help you locate them. Come on. Because we got people in position that they shouldn't be in our lives. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. So God said, I'm going to show you exactly where they at. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you exactly where they at. Come on. As I'm talking to anybody in War Radio Land, as I'm talking to anybody, God said, I'm getting ready to locate them to you. Jesus. I'm going to show you where they at. I'm going to show you where they at. Hallelujah. I'm going to show you where they really at. Come on. I'm going to show you when they should be praying for you, how they really talking about you. I'm going to showcase. I'm going to locate them and show you where they really at. I'm going to show you where they at. Glory to God. Now, listen, when God show you, come on. Now, I got to talk to some folks, especially my partner over here, because, you know, he got to, he don't play. So, let's. <laughs> Let's get this straight because uh, I don't want nobody to think that when God locate, show you where they at. Come on, I don't, I don't need you physical fighting, folks. Come on, if the God's showing it to you, there's a reason because He wants you to teach you how to deal with them accordingly. Come on, I, I don't need you. Listen, I don't need you to pick up no hammer and bust them in the head. Come on, I don't need you slapping their face. Come on, I don't need you jumping on them. I just want you to learn how to deal with them accordingly. Glory to God. God get ready to locate him. So when that rascal tell you he love you, God going to show you where he really at. 
what he's trying to get from you. Because let me tell you something. When we start talking about L-O-V-E, there's something about L-O-V-E because now everybody using it. Come on, you got gang members telling one another they love each other. Next thing you know, they done blow their brains out. Come, Come on. on. You got girlfriend and boyfriend telling each other they love each other. But next thing you know, they done blow their brains out. Come on. You got all kind of folks that hollering, I love you. But yet they turn around and they destroy the same person that they say they love. The devil is alive. Why well, I say I'm going to locate them. Jesus. I'm going to show you where they really at. Mm -hmm. Uh, when they should be, when they should be one thing to you, uh, uh I'm gonna show you who they really are. Come on, uh huh. I'm, 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 I'm gonna download them. Come on, right in before your eyes. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna locate, Come let on. you locate them in the spirit where they really are. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And I'm telling you something. When God began to show you who they really are and to locate them where they really are in your life, come on, it's heartbreaking. Because mm -hmm. there's some people you don't expect to do certain things to you. Mm -hmm. It's certain, it's certain people, you don't expect people to say things to you because they use the word love. But in this season, I found out the folks that's hollering love, then the folks you got to watch now. That's right. I know you don't want me to say it, but I'm saying it anyhow. The people that now that say they love you, them the ones you got to really watch. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Because they have the most information on you and they know just where to hit you at when they need to hit you. My God. Glory to God. They got more information about you than you probably got about yourself. And then when they get ready to punch you in the gut, come on, they know exactly where to hit you at. Huh? Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My God. Glory to God. They know exactly where to hit you at. So we got to be careful with folks. Because I'm telling you, I, listen, I'm not trying to break up no friendship. I, I, I know I understand. What, you know, Miss, Miss Constance, she my friend. Baby, ask God to let you locate them in the spirit. That's right. Find out where they really at then you'll really, really find out what's really going on with that situation. Amen. Because I tell you, the Bible declares that know them that live amongst them. Come on, Come on somebody. And if you just hang with somebody or, 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 or being with somebody because you love them, uh -uh, you need to find out what's going on with them, what they is, what they came for God, what they what they going to be to me, what they came to give me. Yes, amen. And when you start asking God to locate them in the spirit realm, amen, then you ain't got to worry about nobody backstabbing you because I already saw it before it came. Come on, That's somebody. Right. I uh -huh. I saw you before you came. Come on. I knew you was going to lie me. That's why I told you the truth. Amen. Right. So I can straighten it out. Come on, somebody. Because I tell you right now, once God start locating them people, come on. You ain't got to worry about a backstab. You ain't got to worry about them talking about you. Come on. Unless they tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. He said, daughter, when I get through identifying them to you and I get through locating them in the spirit room for you, then this is my topic. God get ready to deal. Come on, Come somebody. On. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I listen. I, I I had to lay that for lay that for last because a lot of folks are out here. Come on. They're doing all kind of things to people. That's unnecessary stuff. Come on. And then you thinking you don't got by, but baby, you ain't got away. Come on. Cause God get ready to deal. Come on. He's Jesus. getting ready to deal with your adversaries. Come on. He getting ready to deal with your enemies. Come on. He's hey. getting ready to deal. Glory Come on. God. And let me tell you something. I find out when God get ready to deal. Come on. If somebody's in trouble. Come on. Because you cannot stop the hand of God. I don't care how much you ask for to pray for you. But that's so when the Bible, Jeremiah, God told Jeremiah, stop praying, praying for these folks. Come on. Just leave them alone because I got to deal with them. It ain't nothing you can do about it. Come nothing. on, somebody. And let me tell you something. There come a time when folks done did all they can do. Hallelujah. Look like they done got by God. Said, okay, I thank you because I'm getting ready to deal with them. Come on. You ain't had to say nothing. Come on. You ain't had to get them back. Come on. You ain't had to talk behind their back. You ain't had to push them. Come on. Because I'm getting ready to deal with them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God get rid of deal. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I said God get rid of deal. Amen. I didn't say evangelism. I said God get rid of the deal. deal. Hallelujah. God told me to tell you. He get rid of deal. Come on. Come on. I know some folks done did something to you. And listen, the bad thing about it, you know they done it, but they don't think you know. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Have you ever had some folks done did something to you and they think that you don't know that you they done it? Oh, but God said, I'm getting rid of deal. Come on. Even that secret stuff that people think they hide behind your back. God said, I'm getting rid of deal. Come on. Oh, can I hear you holler? Deal with it, God. Deal with it, God. Hallelujah. God said, I'm getting rid of deal. God, deal with it. I'm getting rid of deal. Oh, Deal with it. I'm getting ready to deal. Come on. Come on. I'm getting ready to deal with it. Come on. Because that's come a time, amen, that folks got to stop what they're doing. See, listen, we, we wide open. We running. We doing all kind of stuff. And we thinking that we getting by with things. We hurt people intentionally. We do things intentionally to people. 
And we think we'll have no consequences behind it. Oh, we think that, oh, we done got away with it, but God, so I'm getting ready to deal. My God. Come on. And I'm telling you something. It's some old stuff that some folks finna pay for. Jesus. Uh-huh. Let me, let me make sure I hit everybody. Because everybody think it's a young folk. But no, some of y'all old folks. Come on. Uh-huh. Some of y'all seasoned folks that think you done got by because it's been 20, 30 years. God said, I'm getting ready to deal with it. Come on. He gonna have to deal with it. Come on. Because God has to make sure that you understand that what you did wrong. Come on. That he'll give you enough time to repent from it. Because he wouldn't be God if he let you die and went on to hell without telling you what you did wrong. God said, I'm gonna show you. Come on. Exactly where you went wrong at. And then I'm gonna deal with it. Come on, somebody. Jesus. Give you a chance. Hallelujah. Because God get ready to deal with it. Hallelujah. I got some folks, come on, that done did me wrong down through the years. Uh-huh, done did me wrong, shots. I couldn't say much. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, 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 some folks done told me they were sorry, and we got it right. I ain't talking about them folks. Uh-uh. I'm talking about some folks that thought that I didn't know what they had done. Come on, secretly, underhanded, come on, backside, uh, behind the curtain stuff, that kind of stuff, that kind of mess. And they think they didn't, I didn't oh, know anything Jesus. about it. But they forgot God knowed about it. No. God seen it when they did it. And God said, don't worry about it. I'm going to deal with it. Come on, somebody. I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to deal with it. This is an hour that God is getting ready to deal with you, with your adversaries, your enemies. Hallelujah. So we got to be, listen. And when, listen, when God get ready to deal, come on, you're going to know it. Mm -hmm. uh, you have, have you ever seen somebody got in a fight? And when they break the fight up, you find it. You ain't got to ask who won. Because when, <laughs> when you look at the other one, you find, oh, my God, she got a knot. She got, she got a black eye. She got a bust. You ain't got to ask. Come on. Because they going to know who won. Come on. Because when they look you in your face, come on. And they see all them bumps and knots and scratches and stuff. Come on. They know who already been defeated. And God said, that's the same way I'm going to do your adversaries. Come on. In the spirit realm. I'm going to put some knots, some cuts, because I'm going to deal with them. What they did in the natural, I'm going to get ready to do it in the spirit realm. And they're going to know it, because they're going to be manifested. Jesus. So we don't have to run behind people. We don't have to try to get them back. Just wait on God, because he getting ready to deal. Come on. Mm. He getting ready to deal. He getting ready to deal. Prophet, you got anything you want to say? Mm -hmm. Come on. Well, I want you to pray. Come on. Because I feel in my spirit that some people say, uh, Minister Long, you, you really don't know what they done to me. I, I ain't got to know. Your God know. Come on. Your God know. And he getting ready to deal. Well, I don't care who it is. It could be this. I know some people say, well, you know, my mama did me wrong. Well, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Well, you know, my dad. Come on. I, I, I ain't come here to pick point fingers at who did what. But I'm telling you what God said to me. I'm getting ready to deal with it. Come on. I see some things going to turn around for some families because when God began to deal with it, come on, you're going to find out that what was wrong was always could have been corrected and could have been made right. Only thing it took was a conversation. Mm -hmm. Some things that make things right just take a conversation. Mm -hmm. People don't want to conversate. They want to fight. They want to argue. They want to be messy. They want to keep something going. Come on, they want to talk behind your back. They want to say you're this. They want to say you're that. But all it takes some time is a conversation. So we're going to pray, amen, that for the people, come on. Because I'm going to tell you something God said to me too. He said, now when I start dealing with the people, he said, I see someone going to start feeling sorry for them. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm one of them. You know, I don't believe in hurting folks. But God said, I'm going to deal with them. Now listen, I need you to back up. I got to get you out the way. Because uh, listen, when God get ready to deal with folks and you in the way, come on. Some of us will feel the wrath of God as well. So we got to bag up. Come on. Shasta, I want you to pray that when, when God get ready to deal with these people, amen, that the people that he's dealing with, that the person, amen, they'll bag up. Come on. We ain't doing no more covering. We finna uncover. Come on. Because a lot of folks try to cover folks. Come on. Oh, God, don't, please don't hurt them. Oh, God, please don't do that. No. Listen. In order for some of our family members to really be saved, God got to deal with them. They'll never come to God, amen, if we just let them do what they want to. God ain't going to kill them. He's just going to deal with them. See, that's a different kill and deal. Come on. He ain't going to kill. He's going to deal. And so you got to understand, when God get ready to deal with them, you got to back out the way. Come on, mama. You got to get out of the way. Daddy, you got to move out the way. Come on, wife. You got to move. Husband, you got to move. Come on, auntie, you got to move. You got to move out the way because God get ready to deal. Glory to God. Charlton, I want you to pray, amen, for those that are getting ready to see that the enemy, God going to deal with the enemy, that they stay out the way. I know we want to pray for the enemies, but God said, no, no, I want you to pray for the enemy because I'm going to deal with them. I need the ones that I'm getting ready to deal for, they get out the way. Come on. Because sometimes it might not be an enemy. It might be your kinfolks.
that might have been the enemy. Amen. And we want to pray for the one that God is going to work on their behalf. Amen. That he strengthened them. Amen. To not to be in the way. Come on. Listen, you got to watch that thing. Come on. You got to watch it while it go down. Amen. That's Sometimes it. you got, I remember one time we was on this show and Charlton said, you got to watch it while yeah, it go, go down. down. Ah, glory to You got to watch it, sister. Come on. I know, listen, I, I know I feel you. Come on. But you got to watch it till it go down. Come on. Because if you let it go down, God will bring it up if he's supposed to. But you got to watch it while it go down. Glory to God. Yes, On you, Lord. prophet. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we come before you, Lord God. Lord, we know you're faithful to your word, Lord God. And your, God, you're faithful to your judgments, Lord Ooh, Jesus. God. For Lord, you even said in your word that the word of the Lord is already settled in heaven. And Father, we know, God, that everything Lord, you said Jesus. and everything you're going to do, God, you already decided even before time began. And Lord, you even said in your word, the Lord will take up my cause. And Lord, you even said in your word that every, that every case, Lord, you'll take it up, Lord Jesus, just like the woman, the unjust judge. And Father, she cried out saying, Lord, she cried out saying, avenge me, my adversary. And Father, you even said, Lord, that won't I even avenge my elect who cry out to me day and night? Father, you said that men should always pray and not faint. So God, we come to you right now with persistent faith. Lord, ask him, Lord God, you avenge us for our adversaries in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, you even said, Lord God, to avenge evil with good. So, Lord, we ask that God, Lord God, if we have anything in us, Lord God, any hatred, any bitterness, any rage, any resentment in our hearts, Lord God, toward those that have wronged us in the past or even presently, or even those that are currently wronging us, God. Father, anything in our minds, Lord God, that has looked at the yes. situation wrongly, anything in our eyesight, Lord God, that has seen, did not see the whole picture, and Lord, had oh, made false God. conclusions. Father, I ask, Lord God, you please forgive Give us now in the name of Jesus. Yes. And God, loose it out of our heart in the name of Jesus. Father, you give us the strength to forgive in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, give us Lord. strength to let it go in the mighty name of Jesus. So Lord, you can pick it up in the ah. name of Jesus. God, we Jesus. thank you right now for strength to let it go so you can pick it up, God. Oh, God. But God, even more so, Lord God. Father, anything in us, so God, that, that Lord, instead of them being the enemy, that Lord, we're the enemy. God, we ask, so God, you deliver us hallelujah from ourselves in the mighty Jesus. name of Jesus. Lord, every familiar voice and every familiar spirit. Oh, hallelujah. That has masqueraded they self, Lord God, to think we have some real, we don't have anything. Oh, Father, we ask, so God, you deliver it from us now oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we write our ears, so Lord, we only hear your voice. God, we write our minds, so we only hear, receive you in the mighty name oh, of God. Jesus. Father, you said in your word, a sheep know my voice, and a voice of a strain, they won't follow. Glory. And Father, we will follow a strange voice, hallelujah, into this feeling of being angry and rageful. Father, we ask, so God, you please forgive us now in the name of Jesus. Oh, and God, we write us back to you, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, and Lord, after you cleanse us, oh God. And God is really an enemy in our pursuit. Father, we ask, oh God, that you strip that, strip their mobility. In yes. the name of Jesus. God, you strip the wheels of their mobility. Yes. Hallelujah. Those that are in our corner, that are secretly betraying us, oh God. Father, we ask, oh God, that Lord, you expose them by your power. In the mighty Lord. name of Jesus. Let the light of the Holy Ghost expose them now. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord. Let the angels of the Lord unmask them and uncover them now. In the, name, in the of name of Jesus. God should have beat them naked. Hallelujah. Ow, God drive them as the chap be driven in the wind. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every Jesus. every weapon they use against us. God should have strip them of, strip them of every oh, weapon. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whether it be gossip, God calls their mouth. Hallelujah. Stop. Whether it be lies, God let the, let the lies, hallelujah, be reversed back on them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Those that have influence over our name. God should have stripped them their influence. God stripped them of their power in the name of Jesus. God annihilate them and they witchcraft in the name of Jesus. God calls the backfire on them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your judge, we throw your judgment at them in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, let your judgment prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you said in your word when the brutus see danger, they flee. So God, I ask, so God, Lord, call to take our wings like the morning and fly away from it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the situation, God, God, take our heart at the situation. But Lord, you said to guard our heart with all diligence. But out of it flows the, out of it flows the issue of life. So God, I'm asking, Lord God, yes. that Lord, the heart of the issue, God should take our heart out of it in the name of Jesus. Name and of God, God, let's accept your will concerning every enemy, oh, concerning God. every person that don't mean us any good, that's trying to destroy the purpose and plan that oh, you have Jesus. for our lives. Holy, that those that have set themselves the enemies of the cross, meaning enemies of our transformation. But we ask, so God, yes. that Lord, you let your judgment prevail against him yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, those that have called in their life, but have fell over into sin. Oh. Father, we ask so 
oh God, that Lord, you bring them back into repentance yes. by any means necessary in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Father, they have to come under the chastisement of the Lord. God, let it be done so yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you said let the wicked be wicked still. Let the just be just still. Yes. But behold, my reward come quickly. And God, we, we announce, oh God, that Lord, we say even so, come Lord Jesus. God, come with your might. Yes. Lord, come with your sword. God, come with your judgment. God, come with your might. Ow. God, come with your strength. So God, come. Hallelujah with your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we take a yes, Lord. Despite of it all, we say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And God, we ask, oh God, that Lord, all the strength we have in our body. God, we give it all back to you, Lord God. And God, we say, let your will be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your will be done. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. My Jesus. God. Hallelujah. If we have anybody that have a prayer request, come on. I'm looking at my phone, but I don't see any. Amen. But if you have a prayer request that you want to be us to pray with you with, amen, it's now time for you. You can write it on the screen, on the comment. Amen. And we'll touch and agree with you. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to say this, amen, that the Lord said to me this morning. And I said, Lord, I can't say that because I don't really know. Amen. How many know when God tell you something? Amen. I pray. I stayed on my face the day before I came down here to make sure that I heard from God. And he said, I want you to say it but there was a murderer i want you to hear in the airway glory to god that taken place a while back and god said to me he said daughter i'm gonna deal with the ones that was in it there's about to be an arrest for this murder that happened a while back come on i ain't gonna call yes, no Lord. name because god didn't give me no name come on but there's about come on i need somebody on this line come on write it down that uh, evangelist long said it on monday come on august the 30th amen write it down that god said that there was a murder that happened a while back amen that was unsolved nobody hadn't solved it but god said that there's about to be an arrest because he's getting ready to deal with the person that was involved come on somebody glory to God. And I said, God, I said, listen, you ain't put me out there. You're putting yourself because I'm saying you. He said, anything I tell you to say, amen, I'm able to back it up. But God said, there's a murderer that happened a while back. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost now. He said, there's a murderer that happened a while back that was unsolved. Listen, they didn't get no arrest for it. But God said, I'm getting ready to deal with the person, amen, that was involved. Come on. And I'm telling you, whoever this is on this airway, and when it come to pass, come on, and don't call me us alone because it ain't me but you're welcome to call back and worry out to testify what god said on august the 30 2021 yes, lord. glory to god yes lord. i've learned i don't put myself out there unless god told me to say it hallelujah because let me tell you something we, know, oh, we can't be lying on god mm. don't be saying god said something he ain't said it come on i stayed on my face before i said it because listen we're in an hour now folks saying what god said yes god said that and god ain't said nothing come on he ain't said nothing because you know how i know if god said it he'll bring it to pass jesus hallelujah god said there was a murder that took place a while back there was not an arrest come on nobody got charged for it but he said i'm getting ready to deal with the person that was involved Glory to God. Come on. Somebody ought to shout right there. Yes, I don't know what you're in Robert, but you ought to shout. Because listen, I'm telling you, there's some things, hallelujah, God get ready to bring through. Amen. And you got to be able to give God the glory before it happened. Come on. I, I, I Listen, I ain't got nobody that was murdered that they ain't got because they got the young man that killed my sister. But I'm going to give God a shout for what he's about to ready to do. Thank, Thank you, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. For what you're about to do. You're going to give some clarity to this family. Some closure. Amen. To this family. Because I even heard the mother say come on i don't even know if it's a child or whoever got murdered but i heard the mother in the spirit realm say but you know i had gave up because i thought somebody would never find out who did this but i want to tell you god said he get ready to deal glory to god jesus he's getting ready to deal uh-huh he getting ready to deal now come on oh god said i'm getting ready to deal i'm getting ready to deal come on because let me tell you something that mother has been praying come on she had almost gave up she said god you know ain't nobody gonna never find out who did this amen but baby i'm coming to tell you tonight i don't know who you are come on you're welcome to call in i don't know come on i'm telling you what god said he said but he get ready to deal glory to god when god get ready to deal Glory to God. Come on. I'm talking about August the 30th. You hold me to it. Hold God to it. Come on. August the 30th, 2021. Come on. As it was said right here on War Rap Radio Land. Come on. Don't hold the Raw Rap for it. Come on. Hold God. Come on. Don't hold me for it. Hold God because I believe. I heard from God. I stayed on my face all day because let me tell you something. We got to know what we're talking about in this hour. That's right. Glory to God. 
He said, I'm getting ready to deal with who was involved. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. And when arrest come about, come on. I want you to call in the war rap. Come on, give your testimony. Come on. I said, call in the war rap. The number is 864-445-2616. You ain't got to call Minister Long because I don't want nobody to get me in trouble because when God began to do something, come on, I don't want none of his glory. Come on. We get in trouble. We try to get God glory. Uh uh-uh. uh. It ain't me. I'm telling you, God said it. God said it. He said, I'm getting ready to deal. Come on. I, I, t- I got off my knees and I went to shout and I started speaking in tongues before I said, Lord, I said, you get ready. He said, I'm getting ready to deal. I'm getting ready to deal because let me tell you something. It's something about a mother's prayer. Come on. Listen, you can't override it. Come on. I remember the woman kept coming back to the king and he kept, she kept talking about a child. He kept talking about a child and the king said, Leo, I'm tired of this woman. Y'all give her what she want. Come on. This mother kept coming back. Come on. Kept talking to God about it. And God said, listen, I'm going to give it to her because I'm getting ready to deal. Glory to God. He getting ready to deal. Hallelujah. He getting ready to deal. Come on. He getting ready to deal. Glory to God. Call back at 864-445-2616. Amen. And tell your testimony. Because I'm telling you, God get ready to put your, he put his super on your natural. And this thing going to be supernatural because it going to come out of nowhere. Nobody ain't going to expect it. Glory to God. I'm telling you what God is doing this hour. God get ready to deal with some things. Hallelujah. Come on. I, I met mother out here that's dealing with your child. Come on. Leave it alone. Come on. Uh, take your hands off it. Get away from it. Come on. Cause God getting rid of deal. Come on. There's, there's some things that we got to take our hands off. I'm going to tell you something. That at one time I was in church a while back and I think I'm going to say it again because I want to help this mother out here. Amen. With this child. Come on. And, and uh, uh, I'm going to do it in a minute, mama. I see your prayer request. I, I'm, I'm going to get shot in the prayer in a minute, but I want to get this out here. And, 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 and the pastor said to me, he said, Minister Long, he said, Evangelist Long just is sure. And when you take your hands off a of little Charles, God going to deal with it. Come on, somebody. I, I didn't know how to take my hands off of that. Come on. When you start dealing with your child, come on. You don't know how to take your hands off your child. Come on. You got to be out your mind. God, you asked me to take my hands off my child. Come on. I don't know if he going to go down. I don't know if he going to go up. I don't know where he going to go. But you mean to tell me you asking me to take my hand off my child? And God said, take your hands off it. But I want to tell you, just as soon as I took my hands off it, God came and took all the weight off of me. Come on. He made me light. And now God is dealing with him. Come on, somebody. God is dealing with him. Glory to God. You got to take your hands off it and let God deal with it. Amen. Charlton, my mother said, would you pray for my niece? Uh, Destiny. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come before you lifting up Destiny. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus, Father, we don't know every need, but God, you know, Lord God. Lord and Father, Jesus. we thank for her grandmother saying, please pray for her, God. And Father, we send special protection over her, God. She protected from seeing the unseen dangers. Yes. Father, we thank you for the dangers seen the unseen, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, you keeping her, keeping her mind, keeping her spirit, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, and Lord, you keep her on the straight and narrow path, Lord Jesus. Father, you said trample child in the way they should go. And when they old, they will not depart from it. And God, we thank you, Lord God, and though she may be growing older, but God, she'll still have a, have a, a, a knowing of you and a relationship relationship with you, Lord God. And Father, we ask, so oh God, that you guide her and lead her even in school, even with a friend, so oh God. Father, you keep her from people that mean her no good. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord. We break the hand of the enemy. Yes. We everything the enemy's trying, Lord. We cancel it out. In the mighty name of Jesus, every plot and plan, Jesus. we cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord God, that she will be uh, she will be the vessel you call her to be. Her yes. destiny cannot be revoked or destroyed. In the name of Jesus, God, we bind up the hand of premature death or murder. In the mighty name of Jesus, and God, she will go forth and grow in a fear and the aberration of the Lord. And God, she will do everything you called her to do. In the mighty name of yes, Jesus. Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You let God deal. Come yes, on. Lord. You let God deal. Because sometimes we get in the way when God get ready to deal. But you got to get out the way. Come on. You Listen, You can, it's not a season for us to cover. Come on. We got to let God uncover. Come on. Sometimes we've been dealing with demons and stuff uh, for years. And we say, oh, that's the way I was. That's the way she is. That's the way he act. Come on. Uh-uh. That's just him. No. no. That's a spirit. No. And we got to deal with it. You, Go ahead, prophet. And when you say things like that, you make that demon stronger. Yes. You make that behavior stronger. Jesus. That person, when you say, well, that's just the way, I, that's just the way they are. And that's just who they are. You know, they always been like that. No, that gives people permission to still be st- still be stuck in ignorance and stupidness and demons. Yes. Uh-uh, no. But you have to have the courage to say something is wrong with you. You, you got to have the courage to tell these that people part. that something is wrong with you. This is not normal. That part. You not normal. You not acting normal. This ain't you. That's a spirit influencing you. Jesus. Or you have some kind of mental imbalance somewhere. But either way, God ain't call you to it. Mm. You got to have the courage to say it to these demons. Yes. Uh-uh. 
thank God, I believe that I can speak for all of us in this room, but me and Vince Long, particularly because we up front, y'all see us, hey, how y'all doing? Someone's got in our lives and said, something is wrong with you. Your spirit is bad. The Holy Ghost said it one time, and, and we didn't want to heed him, then he sent someone to say, you got a demon on you. You got a spirit. There's been plenty of people in my life. It was one lady in particular. I ain't gonna call her name. She, I was, I came to I visit her because I visited her in her home, and she sat me down. She said, "There's a spirit on you, and it's gonna stop you from becoming everything God wants you to be." Jesus. And she, she didn't care nothing about my tongue. Didn't care nothing about how I pray. She just said, "There's a spirit on you." Jesus. Come on, and it's gonna stop you from being what God called you to be. And then because I was in her house and I had a, a want to change. I say, okay, you're right. That's the main thing. People not, they, they don't, they not change because you have not given the opportunity to change to tell them that something is wrong with them. Screen it out, prophet. Come on. You just say, well, they just don't want to change. No, you never gave them the opportunity to have a decision to change. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. The reason why we are over in the kingdom, why? Because the, because the opportunity and we made decision. Come on, somebody. The Jesus. opportunity for salvation was offered. And we Glory. then, because the opportunity was given, the power to make a decision was there. Thank you, Lord. And by God's grace, we was able to decide that we want to change. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for the change. But Lord. God had to present an opportunity to say something is wrong with your spirit. Yes. The way you living, baby, is not right. I'm talking. Oh, Jesus. I'm talking to something. Young baby, listen. The way you going right now is wrong. Come on, prophet. The way you going right now is not right. If no one ever told you, I'm telling you, the way you going right now is not right. Jesus. You got to stop. And I find that with some of these parents now, they're afraid to tell their children. I don't care, they're 18, 19, 20. If you see they're wrong, you got to tell them you got to stop. You is wrong. Jesus. And it's not okay. And I'm not, I'm not going to reward your bad behavior. Come on, prophet. Gee, the Bible said the real love rejoices when righteousness and truth prevail. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Love don't co Listen, that's the Bible said love covers most to the sins. But if you look in the context of that scripture, it said love covers after you repent. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on now. We got to bring, bring it home now. Say it again. Because I Lord. said somebody need to hear that. Love cover after you repent. Ah, Jesus, that hit my spirit. But I'm not going to cover you while you still doing it. And you just, hey, it's whatever. Oh. No. No. Come on, prophet. See, I love you enough to say you got to come out of that. The Bible said love and kindness have I drawn thee. Okay. I'm trying to draw you out of something. Not saying you can stay in it. And I still love you. Oh. No. Oh, my God. Yes. I still love you, but I'm not going to endorse your bad behavior. Come on, prophet. No, you can't use my you car it. to cheat on your baby you mama. You're still it. with that girl. You're not going to use my car. The devil's a liar. You're not going to use my car for dirt. Stop that. My God. You're not going to use my house as no as no hangout spot. My house is not a hangout spot. Come on, prophet. We all sitting there doing all kind of stuff. No. You're not going to walk in there in my house all time of night. Come on. I'm saved. No. The devil's a liar. Stop that. Mm -mm. No, stop that. Just stop that. I'm for real. Just stop it. I'm talking to somebody right now. You sure live. Stop that. Stop letting these people that, that listen, don't, don't buy a grocery. Don't pay a bill. Don't help you do nothing. You walk around with the same hairstyle for four years trying to support these people and they walking out your house and talk to you any kind of way. Stop that. Stop that. I'm serious. You walk around with the same hairstyle for the, for the same the same little ponytail, same little wigs for four years trying to support people that, that mis disrespect you in time to get ready. Stop that! No! Thomas, I love my family. Well, they don't love you right now. Jesus. Because you ain't, you ain't seen the hairdresser. They ain't loving you right now. Jesus. Stop that. My Jesus. Lord. Jesus even said, I love the Father and the Father loves me. It's an equal exchange. Come on. Ah. Straighten it out. Jesus. Jesus. With it. Now I want to say this real quick. If anybody, he started the fight, okay? It wasn't on me. He's the prophet. Put the camera on me one more time. Uh, him. I ain't no easy that win. Just warning you. I ain't no easy win. <laughs> That's him. Amen. The prophet. Amen. That just put it down. Amen. I'm Amen. <laughs> Just put it down. Amen. Uh, what's going on? Amen. We talk about deal with it. Come on. If anybody want to call in the airways, come on. The phone way, the line, anything that you want to call it, it's open. The number is 864-445-2616. Amen. God is getting ready to deal. 
Come on, I, I listen. I, 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 I know that. Amen. That people are wondering what's taking so long. Uh, uh-uh. because see, God first got to get your heart and your mind out of the situation. Come. Sometimes we think God is a hit man, huh? Well, you know God. You know Jackie. She went with my husband, and I need you to go down there and get Jackie cervical cancer. She can never use her body with my. The, you, who pray prayers like that? So we thinking that sometimes we're not careful. We try to use, amen, our position with God to cause him to try to be a hit man to somebody. Amen. God is not your hit man. Amen. But he's your savior. Come on. Mm-hmm. There's a difference between a hit man and a savior now. Come on. Because a hit man, or this, it'll go out there and do anything as long as you give him some money. Mm-hmm. But our savior, come on. He's going to save your soul. Come on. So God is not a hit man. He's a savior. Don't get it twisted, baby. God, Don't get it twisted. And even that, God, okay, pray the prayer again. I'm going to show you this. God did done this to me one time. Not the same situation, but I'm going to show you what he did. Father, mm-hmm. Jackie went with my husband. Mm-hmm. I need you to go down now and get Jackie's cervical cancer mm-hmm. so she won't never use her body again with my husband. Let her have Jackie. Let him have Jackie. That's basically what the, the Lord be sitting there hollering. The, you praying, talking about something, get Jackie. And then he said, well, let Jack, let him have, let him, let him have Jackie. Trying to free you, because he's going to do it again. Amen. Uh, yeah, just like God. And then he started talking about something else. He said, okay, I need you to go out here and cook a meal for so-and-so. That's, yeah, he's trying to get your soul free. Okay. It's about you. Mm-hmm. She's up. He's gonna deal with Jackie, but right now he want you to cook a meal to get your little soul free. You might cook a meal for a million and then they buy your house. You you never know. You never know. Hmm. My God. Amen. So we got to know that God is getting ready to deal. Amen. With your adversary, your enemies. Come on. And then some Charlton said something real, um, real. And uh, I caught it when he was saying it. Amen. Sometimes your own enemy could be. Mm-hmm. I could be my own enemy. Mm-hmm. I could, so God, God get rid of deal with me. Come on. I could be my own enemy. I can hold my own self. Come on. God done told me to get away from something. Stop doing that. Stop going that place. Come on. Stop hanging with them people. Stop being with them people. Come on. I need you to get away. And I'm still saying, but, oh, God, I got to. They my friends. Come on. They, they, my, they my love. They, they this, they this. And God said, oh, I need you to break loose. I need you to stop. I need you. And it's funny because I just told one of my daughters on the phone before I got here that that this person got to stop. You just got to stop. You ain't listen. You got to pump your brakes. Ain't no messing on no gas. You got to stop because God is getting ready to deal with you. See, God can deal with you two ways on, 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 on several levels. He can deal with you very lowly. Mm-hmm. He can deal with you kind of medium. But don't let him deal with you high. Mm-hmm. That's when you can't holler. Listen, you can't holler live then. You can't breathe. Come on. Mm-hmm. Because now he's dealing with you in a mighty way. Yes, so Lord. that's why you got to learn that when God tell I'm talking to Melissa alone now. When God tell you to don't do something, don't go there. Come on. All right, Jonah. I don't need you to go. I need you to go. Listen, I need you to go down to Nivea. I don't want you to stop at Tosh. I need you to go somewhere. And then you go somewhere else. You do somewhere that then God got to deal with you. Glory to God. And sometimes your own self is your enemy. God got to deal with you. You know when somebody love you. Mm-hmm. I don't know why we going this route. I might be talking to them and say, you know when somebody love you. Uh, every, every woman knows when a man, come on, love them. Because it, it does something to you. Some folks say you get butterflies. Some say your heart start beating fast when you see them. I, I, I don't experience all of it. Amen. But I know the difference between being loved and being lust. Uh-huh. I know the difference between being loved and being lust. Because love, amen, we might have a disagreement, but it don't break me. Huh? Because eventually we're going to get that thing scraped. Mm-hmm. But see, lust are breaking tell you, now come on, let's go to bed. Mm-hmm. The devil is a lie. But God get ready to deal with some things. And when God get ready to deal, even in you, you let God deal with it, sister. Mm-hmm. Let God deal with it, brother. Come on, let, let him get some out of you because he's trying to break some out of you. You got to deal with you. Come on, some things got to come out you in this season because we got to show enough to be safe for real. We can't be trying to do all kind of things and save this person. Come on, help this person, do this person. Come on, your first saving is yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, the scripture even says that um, humble yourself under, under the mighty hand of God. 
and he will exalt you in due season. Yes. Uh, the Bible says, that, um, come on, the hand of the Lord. Come under. Come under. You got to come under. And sometimes under, come under means chastisement. But the scripture says, don't despise the chastisement of the Lord. Because yes. it will surely yield righteousness. And then it's a parable given, I believe, in Hebrews, where it talks about that your earthly fathers chastised you for, so that you'll be, have the good that um, they thought, paraphrasing. But if the Lord chastised you, it will surely yield righteousness. Oh, God. So some things that we're going through, it seems like it's hurting really God's chastising. Ah, because just like, um, you know, I've had people say that you're just so humble. You're so humble. You know how I got that way by his grace <laughs> and how he keeps me that way? Because I've been humiliated. Yes, I have to. Openly. Mm. And many times. Yeah. To finally I say, OK, God, I get it. I can't do nothing without you. Mm. I can't do nothing without you. Everything I am, everything I hope to be is all yes. because of you. And that's and God put that in me. And even when sometimes I sometimes I'll be thinking high mind the Lord say, I don't remember. Remember, you ain't nothing without me. And he just spit me all the way down. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. So come on, chastise me because it's going to yield fruits for righteousness. Thank you, Lord. And that's where you, and that's another place how you get discernment because when we come under the hand of the Lord and come under his chastisement, you then grow up and be yielded for righteousness. Yes. And then the scripture talks about the doctrine, learn the doctrine of righteousness. That's how you learn. Yeah, you come under. Come on, somebody. Mm. There might be a season you can't be always praying for all kind of people. You need to sit somewhere and pray for yourself. Yeah, thank you, Lord. It may come a time. You remember we was in Bible study. I don't know why I'm talking about it. We was in Bible study. And there were times I would come in when we were still evangelist on home. I would come in and use I have things to say, and I'd be talking like I am now. But there was sometimes the Lord say you can't say nothing today, and I'll just sit there. Cause why I was coming under chastisement. Because the Lord never wanted me to get to a place where I thought I was above yes. everybody. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Because, you yes. know, you find that with people that talk a lot. They think they're above everybody. Yes. And then if you happen to say a few little things, people start shouting and praising God. You'll think you're something. Ah. You'll think you're Straighten something. Straighten it out. Thank you. Really, you're nothing. Glory to God. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Come under. Yes. Be willing to come under. Yes. Now, I often used to tell them in Bible study, listen, you can't come up unless you come from up under something. That's right. See, so you can't listen. A lot of people just coming out. Amen. But you got to come from up under something. Come on. You got to come from up under the power of God. Listen, Jesus. there was time I could testify with Charlton. I had been up in church and told and stood up and they were doing testimony service. I said, you know, I love the Lord. And the pastor told me at the time, he said, you love the Lord. You go home and take that, get that man out your house. Huh? And I sat back oh, down Lord. and cried the whole service. Come on. There was a time, come on, I, I went to church. Come on, I'm, I'm talking about I was saved. Amen. But God was still dealing with me. Come on. I don't know why we going this route, but I'm going to help somebody out. And God was still dealing with me. Come on, he was dealing with me. And I, oh, they would give me the mic. And I'll tell you, I would, I would pray. Come on. Look like I would pray heaven down. Amen. And I go back to my seat and an old woman come to me. Said, so, said, daughter, the power of God is on your life. The anointing on your life. But you got to get that hoarding spirit off you. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though she told me in my ear, but I felt like everybody in the room heard it. Come on. I felt embarrassed. Come on. There was a time when I walked in shame and I couldn't tell nobody. Uh-huh. Because see, listen, until you learn how to, you had to walk through shame, had to go through humility. Come on. If you ain't went through none of that, come on. I don't know what you're coming out from upon. Mm-hmm. Because in order to come out from upon something, you got to come through shame. Come on. You got to come, come through humility. Hallelujah. Come on. You got to come through no. You don't know what you're doing. Come on. You got sometimes you got to even walk through some time that you think you're confused. Uh, ew, but it's only to make you come on somebody. Because I told you last Monday, come on. I've been waiting on this thing for 20 years and I see it coming up. I'll, let me tell you something. I shot it all week last week because I see it coming up. Come on. Until you can see it coming up, you got to walk through some shameful times. Shame. I used to walk with my head down. One lady, lady walked, one day the lady walked me, met me in the hallway. She said, hold, she took my face and she hold, she said, I need you to hold your head up. But oh, let that sister know. Hallelujah. Now I was walking in shame. Come on. She would have left me alone. Cause as soon as she put my head up and I walked right past, I put it right back down. I was walking in shame and I was humiliated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So the God didn't never let me get a chance to think I was something. I always, come on, had to question, did I have it? Ah, I have glory it. to God. I know some of y'all like that tell you got it, but uh, there was times in my life that I had to question for years and years, did I have it? Come on. Jesus. Did I have it, Charlton? Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Because every time I thought I had it, God bring up a humility on me. Come on. Uh-huh. He bring shame on me. Come on. He allowed to come on me. Jesus. Glory to God. So there was times I had to go to God. I said, God, you sure you call me? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Huh? Did you? Because I, I know somebody is in a better shape than me. Come on, they mind. They got their stuff together. I know you can use them. That you should that you call me. Come on, I'm a wom a woman with five kids, born out of wedlock. Come on, you sure you call me as a sister down there? She got a good husband, good marriage. Come on, good job. She got it going on. He's ah, oh, I called you. Come on, I called you. That's right. I called you. So you know, I was like, come on. And I walked through some lot of shames. Come on, because every time I would get pregnant, come on, uh -huh, I'm going to tell it on myself. Every time I would get pregnant, I tried to hide the children. I got a cousin named Tasha Mason. She come to my house. She said, Pete, what you doing? I said, child, I ain't doing nothing. I take the pill and put it in my stomach, kind of lean on like I'm talking to her. I said, child, I ain't doing nothing. She said, I know you ain't pregnant again. I said, child, no. I said, I'm just getting fat. She come back two weeks later. She said, Pete, who baby that is? I said, ma. She said, ah. now you, I just asked you that. Come on, I was hiding them babies because I was shamed. Honey, not as a child, not as a children. Come on, just shame, amen. Because I was having children back to back. And God let me walk through a shame. Come on, I was shamed. I would go in the grocery store, all five of them walking behind me. And they would say, oh, is all them kids you? I said, yes, ma'am. Come on, I would go there and get grocery on this island, on the aisle with a candy and tater chips. They all be sitting down on the floor eating up everything. So I would end up, had to pay for something. They don't eat in the store. They know what I took home. I I was shamed. I said, oh, God, we got a mess on aisle five. Come on. I need somebody to clean up. But God, my children had done it. Come on, somebody. And there was time I walked through shame, but God told me. He said, for your shame, I'm going to bless you. Come on. And God has blessed me with them five kids. Come on. Oh, behind your shame and your humility, there's a blessing on behind it. Come on. Glory Jesus. to God. Because it's coming. Jesus. Hallelujah. God getting ready to deal. And guess what, y'all? He's still walking in it. Hallelujah. He's still walking in it. Yes. He's still walking. I, yes. told, I told God, I'm sorry. Go ahead, prophet. I told God, I said, Lord, I feel like my life is a disaster. She said, your life in disaster is a demonstration. Ah, my God. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. That's yes, how you know sir. you done came under because your life going to seem like it's a disaster. It's going to seem like it's a disaster. But oh, it's a demonstration. God. Yes, sir. My God from Zion. Yes, sir. Woo. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I look like nothing together. Everything got a place. That's what it feel like. Hallelujah. Sometimes you look at it and you say, oh, God, I'm a, I, I, this ain't looking good for me. You sure, God? You, you, sometimes you got a question. Listen, you ain't questioning God because he knows exactly what he's doing, but sometimes your question is really to you. Come on, have you ever questioned yourself? You sure, God, call me? Come on, you sure I'm qualified for this? Ain't no way in the world God can use somebody like me. Amen, but God was still calling my name. He was still, come on, because I need you to come on. Come on, I need you to come on. I need you to, I want to fix your life. Come on, I watched the, the thing they call Ayana. I yell to fix your life, but God said, uh -uh, I'm fixing your life. He put it together. He get rid of deal. Hallelujah. So we open the, li open the lines for you. Hallelujah. The number is 864-445-2616. Come on. I want you to call in. I don't care. And don't forget, August the 30th, 2021, what God has said on this airway. Amen. And he's getting ready to deal. Come on. He's getting ready to deal with that murder that was unsolved. Come on. God get ready to make an arrest. Come on, somebody. And listen, don't worry about the time and when it's going to happen. Just know it's going to happen. Come on. Because, you know, us as folks, we want to win immediately. Sunday instantly. Sometimes God said, No, let me work it out. Come on, somebody. Because he's getting ready to deal with it. Come on. Hallelujah. The police is mine ain't dealing with it. Come on. They don't get up on it. But your God. Hallelujah. He said, I'm getting ready to deal with it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm getting ready to touch it now. Hallelujah. There's some things that we don't want to touch, but God said, I'm gonna touch it now. Uh-huh. Because I'm getting ready to deal with it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God get ready to deal with it. Amen. So we thank God for the word. Amen. Prophet, is anything else you want to say? Come on, because you like you tore up over there. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, listen, Whitney, I want you to say something. Come on, because I think you're hitting on a little something in your spirit. Because I sense in my spirit to you that, listen, that's a release that you need. Come on. So you go ahead on, Prophet. Uh, I love the Lord. Amen. And that's the only reason I'm over here. Yes. That's the only reason. Um, I was talking to Mr. Foster earlier, and I was talking about um, how do you stay over this on this side? And in the midst of me saying that I feel like my life was a disaster, and God reminded me your life was a demonstration, he was able to say that because when I first came to him, you, I made a decision. Yes. And while I was walking with him, the Lord gave me another decision. And the decision was a yes, Lord. Mm. And it's important if you're ever going to stay on this side, even in the midst of the dealing with it and God dealing with it and dealing with you, you have to keep a yes, Lord. Because a yes, Lord 
it's a sensing that this thing that I'm walking through is purposed. Mm. My God is the knowing that this thing, whatever I'm walking through, mm. whatever I'm going through, it has, it is purpose. Yes. And it's for a purpose. Come on. Jesus. His purpose is not to destroy me, but to make me better. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And even in the midst of betrayal, you got to understand the mm. um, significance of it. Because if you look in the scripture, the fa famous, we preach it all the time, but sometimes we need to remind it with Judas and Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Jesus said, what you're going to do, do quickly. Ah. Hallelujah. Jesus. And in the midst of, and even when he told Mary, they said, leave Mary alone for she's preparing, she's anointing me and preparing me for my burial. Yeah. All of it was working because Judas helped him go to power. So even in this mm. betrayal, you got to understand the purpose behind it. Yeah. That you being betrayed, you being all that. So God can take you to your next, next power, next, next level, your next destination. Yes. Hallelujah. Your next ascension. Hallelujah. That's where God is trying to take you. Thank yes. you, Lord Jesus. So don't ever think that this is just something to destroy you. It just hurts so bad. But I mean, take it somewhere else. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So I tell anybody, let them continue doing what they're doing. Yes. Let them continue because helping you. Let them finish the job. Ah. Let them finish it. Hallelujah. Because yes. helping you in the long run. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're out of time. Amen. But we still got Jesus. I'll see you not this Monday coming, but next Monday. Amen. 6 p.m. God bless you. Peace.